Well, as you get ready to place those gifts under the tree, some technology experts are raising concerns about some toys and apps that could compromise your security. Online security expert David Papp joins us uh, with his uh, monthly segment. Morning, David. Good morning. Nice to have you back, although I am terrified. I've, yeah. I've, I've <laughs> looked at some of these things here, and I'm, I'm finding it downright scary. It is, absolutely. Uh, it seems that almost everybody is listening and recording what we're doing. Now, the, now the first one you want to, something, it's, it's a Barbie app? What, what, what's yeah, this? that's the latest right now is a Barbie app where you can act called Hello Barbie. And you can talk to Barbie and Barbie actually responds back to you with, uh, if you ask a question, it processes it and, and responds. So it's like Siri kind of thing? Kind of like Siri. But yeah. how is it doing that? It's recording what your child is saying, it's sending it to the internet, it's processing it, and then it's sending it back. And parents can even save those recordings and have access to it on a website, which means anybody else can. And there's already been vulnerabilities that have been discovered in the Hello Barbie app. So what do you need to uh, worry about in a situation like this? Or, or what can you do to, to solve this issue? I guess nothing other than just not participating. Uh, that's the best. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't save those recordings. I would make it. Um, and then the other thing is being careful with your home network because they've made it so that you can actually connect to your home network through the Hello Barbie app. Okay. All right. Well, let's, let's, let's keep the scary thoughts going here with uh, Google Chromebook. What's the issue with this one? Google Chromebooks? Um, well, Google, for convenience purposes, uh, saves, you know, the history of where you're going on websites, what YouTube videos you're watching, your passwords and whatnot, which means that that's all on the cloud. It's all on the internet and somebody else can get access to it. They're essentially monitoring your activity and they've openly said that they are. And there's a lot of controversy right now in schools that hand out Chromebooks to students because their activities are being monitored online. All right, we'll move from that. We'll uh, go to Gmail now. Gmail. What, what, so why does Google do this? Google has actually openly said that they actively scan and read all of your email in Gmail. The purpose for that is to target ads to you because they can find out what kind of things you like and enjoy and they get paid better for those demographics for their ad advertisers. Okay, but other than that, is, is all of this information available to the general public or is it something, there has to be a no, reason to get the security it. precautions put in place. However, people have gained access to that stuff. It is very scary. I mean, and remember, everything is only as safe and secure as your password. Okay. And a lot of people don't have safe passwords. <laughs> and, and I know it's the same question we ask all the time, but how often should you be changing this password? As often as you can. I mean, they recommend every 90 days, but a lot of people can't keep up with that. But you should be changing it on some regular basis. And, and you shouldn't use the same password. Same password for everything. <laughs> but how are you supposed to remember them? Password lockers, password safes are good. They work again, well. They're only as good as the password you use to protect it. <laughs> oh, great. All right, let's move on to Skype now. Uh, Skype is an issue as well. You're saying they don't necessarily record your voice, but they record the uh, instant, instant messages? messages? Yes, and Microsoft has openly said that they do this. Uh, but, and they have the potential to record voice recordings as well. Great. Now, the one that, that you were telling me off air scares you the most are the smart TVs. Yeah, absolutely. Think about it. I mean, just like you were mentioning off air about iPhone 6 now records, uh, is listening for Siri commands. Well, your smart TVs do that as well. So you're sitting in the living room, and we're too lazy now to go and grab the remote control and change a channel. So we want to sit there and go, TV on, TV channel 37. Well, that means it's listening to everything you're saying on an ongoing basis, sending that to the internet to be processed, because that's not done in the TV, it's done on the internet, going back to your TV, and it's essentially waiting for those commands. And they're recording that information as well, because they're using that for research purposes. And finally, we'll wrap things up with Siri. We mentioned that uh, with the iPhone 6 and onwards, if you have it plugged in, you can just be sitting a couple meters away and go, hey, Siri, what time is it? So. Obviously, it's listening to you all the Obviously time. Obviously, it's listening. Absolutely. And you're saying it's recording it too? Yes. It's and they, Microsoft, or sorry, Apple in this case has actually indicated they do record it. Why? Well, they claim they don't associate it to your profile, but they're doing it because they want to better improve Siri. So they want to better improve the voice recognition that's occurring. All right. But they keep it for an undefined amount of time, which they've said up to seven years. That's scary. Okay. Thank you so much for coming in. Yeah, you Merry bet, Christmas, the best of the Merry holiday Christmas. to you. We'll see you next year. You can follow David on Twitter or you can check out his blog.